Hey coach, it's Coach Simpson. Appreciate you tuning in my YouTube channel. A lot of information on this channel. Feel free to scroll through and look at anything you want. Defense, offense, head coaching. Today's video is going to be on defensive videos. We're going to be talking about pursuit angles, how we kind of teach our guys to play with leverage. You know, one of the things that uh, we really work on is we talk about hips, like the deepest hip or the deepest uh, rear end almost in the backfield has been kind of how we work our leverage fits and our force and our you know inside fits as well. So we're going to use uh, outside backer and inside backer as an example here. Uh, but the same drill could be done with corners, uh, with safeties, demons alignment, whatever it is. We talk a lot about what hip we're on. We're not real big. I don't like doing any kind of pursuit drill with cones or even really landmarks anymore uh, because really we want to teach angles off of what's happening in the game of football, not, you know, dropping to some area because the guy running the ball is not going to do that. He's going to move. It's going to be fluid. So being able to use hips has really helped us. So we're going to use our outside backer and our inside backer for this example uh, to kind of explain what I mean by that. So in our defense and every defense, you're going to have a force player or a guy who's got contain, however you want to say that word. And then you're going to have everybody else who's you know, supposed to be fitting in the alleys, the inside player. For us, with our kids from the third grade on, we talk about an outside hip or an inside hip. Outside hip, force player, contained player, inside hip. I'm the alley filler. I'm, I'm fitting inside. What we see a lot of times, especially at the young ages, is we struggle setting an edge. That's the outside hip. Or... Our inside hip guys want to make every tackle so they overrun the play and give up the cutback. So there's a lot of drills you can do. I think I've got some drills on this YouTube channel. I know i got a bunch of them over in that swarm, 3-4 uh, swarm stuff I've got over on my website. You, you go get a lot of those. But here's kind of the idea behind what we do. So we're going to put outside backer here, inside backer here. Inside backer is the inside hip. He's playing the inside hip. He's going to fill the alley. And then our outside backer right here is setting the edge. He's the force player. Like I said, you could do this with a corner and a safety. It is with multiple players. We're just doing with these two guys. All right. So what we'll do in the drill is we'll set up a quarterback here, a running back here. And we say, all right, where is the deepest, most outside hip in the backfield? And that's right here. So we're going to aim for that. We're going to attack. We're going to take away the pass drop right here. We're just learning how to fit. Okay. We are going to handle the deepest hip in the backfield, okay? Inside backer is going to react to wherever the ball goes, and then he's playing the inside hip, okay? And so we'll kind of explain that as we go. Well, there's a lot of scenarios that can happen with that. So if we're looking here, and we get this action where, let's say, he's crossing the face right there, okay? Well, now, as I'm attacking the ball, that hip went away. It went over here. So now, where's the deepest hip in the backfield? It's right there. That's going to take care of zone read for me, or it could be play action pass or boot. I now know my angle went to the deepest hip right there. So I'm playing that angle, okay? All right, well, the ball, this, this could move this direction. It could come at me. If it comes at me, that's usually like a speed option, or it could be a bubble route or whatever it could be. Well, now my aiming point is going to the deepest hip. So I've got to basically peel. They call that peel technique. I've got to peel to handle that. Okay, uh, this could step up like a pass block. Well, if that happens, okay, the deepest hip just became the quarterback again. Usually that's a pass drop. So I became the edge rusher fitting off of that. Well, I've taught that kid now three things without him really even knowing it. He has pitch man on option. He's peeling for bubble. Okay, and if it's zone read, he has quarterback. And he learned all of that by just knowing I have the deepest outside hip. It's that simple. Okay, inside backer is obviously playing the other, uh, the, the inside hip of whoever has the ball, okay? So if I get this action right here, okay, that action right here, I'm playing the inside hip of whoever has the ball. So it's not a quick pitch, okay? What's going to end up happening, we're going to set an edge. Quarterback's attacking here. I'm playing inside leverage right there. So when that quarterback sees the edge gets set, turns back in, I fit and make the tackle, okay? It could be other action. We could get you know, this action here. Well, we're, we, we cross read with our kids. That's kind of neither here nor there. 
but I would play inside hip on that, or my outside backer, so this went that way, outside backer has the zone read here. So I've now handled any kind of zone read mesh type stuff with our base without getting into calls on how we want to handle that. There's a lot of ways you can do this. You can set them up out there in several drills, like I mentioned over on my, my website at the swarm stuff, but a real easy one is you just take the ball, toss it out this direction and let them fit. So you have one player, two players, outside hip, inside hip. He's gonna work hard to get to that outside hip. He's gonna work hard to fit inside hip. And what I have found is the guy that struggles with this the most in the drills is actually that player. That player wants to go make a tackle. He wants to go get there. So what will happen a lot of times, he'll overrun it, and bam, there goes your cutback. So working these drills, especially in tandem, has become something we've done in our tackle circuit. You know, we tackle, we work on that, but it's just as important to make sure we understand how we fit as a group to make our tackles. So that's where we go to hips, inside hip or outside hip. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, a lot of other information on this channel. I've got a couple drills on here for this specific thing. Just kind of scroll to the channel, you'll find them. If you want more in-depth information on how we teach our defense, you can go over to fbcoachsimpson.com. Look for the 3-4 Swarm stuff, or it's over at CoachTube as well. Thanks for your time.